I leaned very heavily on my extraordinary director, Antoine Fuqua. Uh, it was one, you said when I sit down with the guitar and I, I'm, you kind of, you have these expectations of Andy Dwyer with the guitar. It's true because Andy Dwyer is very much an extension of myself. He's like sort of my comedic clown that I developed my entire life. And Parks and Rec thankfully allowed me to go just do my thing, my own comedic little jazz solo in the breaks between, you know, between lines for my other killer comedic cast on that show. But this character is probably the most removed from myself that I've ever been on screen. And Antoine helped me to get there because he he has this very subtle, nuanced approach to leaving moments empty. Meaning, mm -hmm. uh, a perfect example would be in, in, in the pilot episode, Katie Birenik, played by Constance Wu, hands me a report, uh, uh, a death report from a scene that I've left. I won't get into the details of that. Uh, <laughs> It is but a in, the, in, in the it first is, yeah. in the first take, she hands me the report, and I take the report and look at it, and I get some information from it. And Antoine comes up to me and says, and only the way that he can, he says, "Why'd you take that? Why'd you take that report?" I was like, "Well, she she handed it to me. I just took it." He goes, "You don't give a fuck about her. She hands you something. You're gonna you're not gonna take it." And I was like, "So she's gonna hand me something? I'm not gonna take it?" He goes. Don't take it. He's saying this just to me so she can't hear me. In the next take, she goes, and here's the report. And I just look at her. And there's this That's... pregnant pause. And she doesn't expect it. So she just, she rolls with it and just sets it down next to me. And in that moment, I realize the person in Chris Pratt that would never leave a person hanging, who if you're going to hand it to me, I'm going to certainly take it because I wouldn't want you to feel awkward. That's not James. I removed that part of myself, that affability, that that intention to sort of please the people in the room around me. And, and it's sort of taking the various things away from myself that make me me revealed who was James. And he's not all that different than me, but there's a few things less. And, uh, and, that, and that was the moment that I really helped find the character like, wow, this is this guy's different than me. He he doesn't care about it. if that woman's going to feel awkward that she's handing me. The reporter's going to hand me a paper. I'm not taking it. She, me, I'm like, I better take that from you. You might feel awkward. I hope you like me. <laughs> but that's not, uh, that's not Reese. He, he's a little indifferent to whether or not someone likes him. He's just focused on the mission.